Hi guys, this is gonna be my second attack in this war and uh, this second attack is gonna be a little bit more difficult than uh, a lot of my previous attacks because I don't have my my war academy uh, it's under grade and uh, I only have uh, those tactics I get from some events or from uh, Marco Polo or wherever I got them, I don't even remember this. So these are uh, two betrayals and uh, one protect. And so I decided to pick uh, a little bit more easy base than I would normally do. And a base that will allow me to, to use those tactics uh, the best. Uh, so, so this is the base I'm gonna attack. A global age base, uh, not so bad base actually, uh, but only one industrial age mortar. Uh, the rest of the mortars are in the enlightenment age. Yeah, enlightenment age. Uh, one bunker is global, which is actually good for my betrayals, and it is located near near a tank depot. So what I would like to do is to to steal a heavy tank and probably at least one uh, regular tank and use the protect right on top of them. I don't really want to protect my, my main troops, it makes little sense, uh, but I would like to steal one tank, one heavy tank here and probably, hopefully, uh, one regular tank as well. And uh, as well, I would like to steal one heavy tank from here. So the plan is to drop my main troops here, uh, like a little bit, uh, probably right in front of of this vault. And uh, maybe even a little bit to the right, uh, in front of those oil wells. Uh, Place my heavy mercs here, so it will hopefully uh, go and distract a few buildings here, including this mortar, hopefully, uh, maybe the sniper tower, but actually not likely. I will also, somewhere here, uh, the Acropolis is far enough, so it should not affect uh, neither this bunker nor this tank depot, so it should be enough time for me to deploy all of my troops and probably the mercs before I need to, to steal the tanks. Uh, so then I will expect those guys to pop up and to steal them, uh, use, to, use the protect on them. And it will actually allow me uh, to distract the mortar. It's not very good that um, two cannon towers are quite close here. Uh, but kind of okay, I expect them to, to be able to get at least the heavy tank, the Global Age heavy tank, to take quite some shots from, from one of those towers, allowing my main troops to come and uh, destroy a lot of things here. I will place my uh, generals here, somewhere, somewhere like here, so that they approach uh, these buildings and uh, distract hopefully the second mortar and something. And I will deploy my uh, donated troops and my coalition troops here. So it's very good uh, I have this bug uh, and have more donated troops than, than usual. It will be very helpful because here are, you can see three, uh, three garrisons here and uh, it's really not that good. And I will also, as I said, steal this heavy tank here as well. Uh, this is the initial plan. So obviously I'm hoping to get 50% quick victory. I'm not aiming to, to destroy the town center fast because, you know, those walls are, are pretty tough, I would say. Um, I have thought about uh, bringing a wall miner here, but I don't really think it will help me, so I would rather uh, would rather not 
waste my troop space and then I will have to to use my plants very very wisely because uh, this mortar is kind of kind of dangerous uh, cannon towers might be dangerous for my for my steel tanks and uh, I will only use one uh, one blitzkrieg to disable the town center and the and the fort I thought about uh, placing my troops here to destroy the fort like uh, the native troops here but those two tank depots are just too much for them uh, they will not be able to, to kill all, all of the tanks spawning from here and uh, they are actually boosted with the Acropolis so it's uh, gonna be quite painful uh, I also bring some troop tactics with me so probably we'll have to use them it's really a tough war, not sure how we're gonna win it, but I will try to to get to do my best at this base. So let's give it a try. Um, really without without sabotage, without uh, decoys, it is something tricky to do. But as you can see, I've got like uh, seven shooters, one uh, Kathleen gun, and one. I don't know, probably it's just a regular infantry guy. Uh, and all the rest is just my regular army. I will also drop my my own regular infantry on the very top of the map um, because it's kind of safe place and it will increase the DPS. Uh, okay, but obviously the main thing here is to to steal to steal those heavy tanks and 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 to use protect on them well so where is my stealing using protect was done quite well took quite some time for me to to deploy all of my troops so now I'm waiting to to steal another heavy tank done very nice so far it's going not so bad actually I'll now disable the defender spawning buildings and we'll start using my planes because it's actually just the right time also had quite some quite some troops here probably Kill those howitzers. Well, I don't even need to use any 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 troop cards so far, so it looks quite quite well. Yeah, it was quite a good attack. So my heavy tanks worked. Anything left here now? So it was quite quite a nice attack given given my very strange set of tactics. So even under two minutes. Ah, uh, is it? Yeah, it, it is under two minutes. Well, quite impressive. I actually didn't expect uh, I didn't expect it to be uh, that good. So it was actually quite well. Although I I was not able to destroy the town center. Uh, during the Blitzkrieg time, I was not able to destroy the castle during Blitzkrieg time, but I didn't uh, didn't use any troop cards, and still was able to destroy this base. So I'm kind of glad with this attack. Uh, the plan worked, and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we will win this war. But the opponent is really tough. So see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.